they're making Mystic Mine support. You know, Mystic Mine, the cursed ass field spell that made the Pacifist deck and all those other control strategies go out the fucking window, a crime against humanity printed into cardboard. They're making an archetype for that. They have scraped the they have scraping the bottom of the barrel of of arc 5 because they have depleted anything and everything in dual monsters gx 5ds and zexel and now for some reason they've decided we're going to make mystic mine support like let's read some of these real quick now granted these are not the final translations, but these are basically translations of what they do from the promotionals. We don't know what the, this is what they are as best we can in Japanese, but they could be a little different in English, but usually that's not the case. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. During the end phase, you must banish the top three cards of your deck face down. This is not optional. If you control a face-up Mystic Mine card, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in attack position. And if you do, you can add one Mystic Mine card, and if they do, they can add one Mystic Mine from their deck to their hand. Do you know what this means? That if somebody's playing Mystic Mine as a tech, like, you, you, you can't play it at that point because you're going to just screw yourself over during the end phase and this is you can only use these effects once per turn during the end phase you must banish the top three cards of your deck face down if you control a mystic mind card you can special summon this card to your opponent's side of the field they're all dd they're all dd guides they're all dd guides which is which was already pretty good in mystic mind as it was while you control this face-up monster, your opponent draws an additional card during their draw phase. So not only does it summon itself to the opponent's side of the field, it also draws you a card. Look at this trap. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. When this card is activated, you can add one Mystic Mine monster from your deck to your hand. Fine. Limited search fund. You know what they didn't? You know what they didn't make a hard once per turn? Each time a card is banished from your opponent's deck, you can activate this effect. Inflict 700 damage to your opponent. Your opponent can negate this effect by banishing the top three cards of their deck face down. What the actual fuck? You can, this next card, you can only use this effect once per turn. Activate this card by tributing one Mystic Mind monster you control. Okay? Take a, one Mystic Mind from your deck and either activate it or add it to your hand. Field spells cannot be destroyed. So not only is it Metaverse, it's also Field Barrier. It's so bad that the translator... Put a note here at the bottom of, 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 of this page. Note, does anyone else feel like quitting this game for Digimon? I don't know, but I think ya boy, if this becomes... If I play against this too much, ya boy might go over to Magic the Gathering. You can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. And during the end phase, banish three cards from your deck. This is not optional. Fine. If you control a Mystic Mind card, the DD Guide effect. While you control this monster, any effect damage you take is doubled. They are literally making one of the most cursed strategies on the planet. Do you know what this means? You put, you hold this, and then you special summon it to your opponent's side of the field. While you already have your Wave Motion A. Two wave motion cannons, 
with two counters on him a piece already, you lose. Just like that. Listen. Like, I'm envisioning how cursed this is going to be, and I want to kill myself. And it's, 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 it's like this, that monster in particular is a priestly creature. So for, for those watching who, for some reason, don't, who, who are watching me, this, this, this stream, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Master Duel in particular, and, or somehow Rick came across this segment on YouTube, Mystic Mine does the following. If you control, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, your opponent cannot activate monster effects or declared attack. If you control more monsters than your opponent does, you cannot activate monster effects or declared attack. Once per turn during the end phase, if both players control the same number of monsters, destroy this card. They made an archetype for this. Is it going to be meta? No. Is it going to be relevant? No. Are a lot of people, is it going to be seeing an over, the deck going to be seeing long term a lot of play? No. But it is going to be deeply unfun for every single person playing this game. Playing The person playing it and the person playing against it, nobody is going to have fun because you are no longer playing Yu-Gi-Oh! You are playing Chicken. Fuck, might as well ban Chicken Game while we're at it. <sighs> That's why I'm glad at least Mystic Mine is banned in Master Duel, because fuck me. Oh, God. Cut it. That's the fucking segment. Ugh.